KPN Data Services Hub, or DSH for short, is a cloud-native data streaming platform, which leverages Apache Kafka as a central messaging system. Built by Clario, this DSH allows organizations to share huge volumes of data securely and in real time in a multi-tenant architecture. As an example, we will present a typical use case involving a call center, a marketing department, and an operations center. On the DSH, every department has its own dedicated workspace, also known as a tenant, where it can deploy containerized services built on technologies and frameworks of the department's choosing. Using Kafka, each tenant can share massive data streams coming from multiple sources in real time. Each tenant has its own need for information. This is demonstrated by three dashboards, one for each tenant. The call center dashboard provides a dynamic streaming view on typical call center data, such as current load, predicted customer handle times, expected talking time per call, as well as call flow within the data center. The marketing dashboard gives an overview of potential churn and the financial liability the company is exposed to. Finally, the operations dashboard offers real-time insights into the location of network outages and their impact. The data displayed by these tenants is not isolated, but shared over the message layer, ensuring that each tenant has a real-time view on the data that they need. To show how this multi-tenant data sharing system works, let's illustrate how the three different tenants are created using the tools provided by the DSH. In the management portal, we can create and manage tenants. Using the portal, we can create the three tenants representing each department. The next step is to create data streams on Kafka and set the appropriate read-write privileges so that the respective tenants can access these data streams. Data streams come in two types, internal and external. Internal data streams are Kafka only. They can only be read from or written to by tenants within DSH that have been explicitly given permission to do so. External streams, on the other hand, can be shared outside the DSH over MQTT. In the management portal, we create the external telemetry stream with the desired name and type. In the same way, we create the call center logs, outage, and dashboard streams. Data governance is key. As such, we will be setting read-write policies per tenant and per data stream. As you can see here, Operations receives appropriate read and write privileges in relation to the outage and telemetry streams we created earlier. Once privileges are set, the different internal and external data streams start flowing. Let's assume that in our use case, our tenants want to safeguard all raw data for future analysis or reuse. As such, tenants can also move data towards an object store. As a final step, we want to start deploying different applications for each tenant, both backend and dashboard components. We refer to our applications as services that can consist of single or multiple containers working together. We use our self-service container management tool, shown here, to configure, start, and stop containers. After launching the containers of the operations tenant, we can see a summary of when the staging of the containers took place, when they were started, as well as the live status of each of the containers. Through this process, the DSH platform is populated with different tenants, data streams, and their respective containers, working together in secure harmony. As we can see, traffic is now flowing over internal and external data streams, and data is being sent to the object store. Again, the data displayed by these tenants is not isolated, but shared on the message layer, 
ensuring that each tenant has a real-time view on the data that they need. We hope you have enjoyed this introduction to the KPN Data Services Hub.